because it's all objects, um, you cannot simply have a group, not a signal group, meaning it's being fed um, together. Um, so the way to work with that is that if you want to EQ, um, you can either create um, VCA faders and link them or create link groups or use, uh, in this case, the quick link function here in Nuendo. And then I can just go ahead, select whatever channels I need to control at the moment, for example, all those drum channels. And I recommend leaving the channel strip um, unused um, specifically for, um, let me just open it up, it's a little bit easier to see. Um, specifically for then doing the final corrections for the Atmos mix. So do all your mixing in the inserts and then leave the channel strip, in this case of Nuendo, for like the overall adjustments of the drums. So I need a little bit more high frequency content on the drums. I'm just gonna use um, the built-in channel strip EQ. So and as you can see, because they are all linked um, at the moment, if I start to, you know, um, increase um, the, the high level right here, you can also see in the mix console all of of these will just follow along you know they will do exactly the same and this is how i do um the kind of the final touches to the mix then generally in mixing dolby atmos it's a um, it's a bit more important to take care of individual signals because everything is an object you know so it kind of needs to sound okay on its own so this is how you can eq um and for compression it gets even more complicated um you of course need to insert a compressor to all of your channels that need to be compressed if you want to have kind of a master compressor and um, then feed the sidechain through all of those compressors and have the similar settings which you can do by a linking and then you can have sort of a a some compression um, note just that again I would recommend using the channel strip for that because if you let's say have 118 objects and you insert you need to insert your favorite compressor plugin on uh, 118 separate channels your computer might just blow up um, <laughs> depending on what the, you know the plugin you use and of course how fast your computer is but if it's a very sophisticated um, compressor um, then you might you know not be able to run as many instances that's interesting i hadn't considered how these differences of using objects will impact our mixing techniques i i just for those who aren't really following what you're saying the eq it's there's an easy workaround because if you would have sent a choir to a group and then eq'd that group it would have applied an equal eq to all of those sources that's easy. You just link all of your EQs on those individual objects, and it applies that same EQ to all the sources, just the same as it would have. Where it gets tricky is a compressor. If you had a low, high, and mid voice going into a choir bus, and then you put a compressor on that bus, the low signal breaking the threshold of that compressor would have applied an equal compression to all three of those voices. Whereas simply linking compressors may link a, a threshold, but it wouldn't allow for the low to trigger the compressors on the mid and high voice. But I, I see what you're saying. There is a workaround, but it would have to do with using side chain compression so that the, tr the trigger for each of those compressors isn't the signal itself but it is in fact a, a bus probably that includes all of them. It's exactly what you said. What you need then for the compressor is of course a signal that contains the entire mix, which is what you would expect if it's a, a master, I mean a mastering compressor. If it's a group, let's say the choir, then of course you want it to have the signal of all the choir voices or all the individual channels, which would then, you know, control the threshold of the, um, uh, the you know, the triggering of the compressor. Um, and while we can't mix to groups and then render that as an object while maintaining separation of each individual object. For example, low, mid, high voice, maybe you wanted the low in the center, the mid over to the left, and the high over to the right. As objects, that can happen as three individual objects. But if you were to group all of those and make that group an object, well, they would all seem to come from the same point in space. I understand that. Can we still use buses and groups as utilities like we just described sort of use a bus just as a sidechain trigger and for other purposes that won't actually be distributed to the renderer 
but could be used to manipulate signals within the session? Uh, yes. Um, uh, that's a, again, it's a very important point. What I'm doing, for example, here is for my my um, my uh, master compressor, I'm actually using a, a rendered down mix of the stereo version of the song as the sidechain signal for the compressor, but because it contains the entire song. But of course, if I do any major changes to the mix, I need to re-render that stereo down mix. So then it's, you know, it's again, the proper song with the proper levels, etc. But you can still use um, buses. Um, it um, depends on, you know, what you want to achieve. But you could, of course, say, let's say you have... Um, you have a choir and you put all the tenors, um, multiple microphones, let's say, it's a very elaborate choir recording, um, uh, you put them all into one audio group, you know, and then you're placing that audio group, um, if you want to work like that, either as a, as a, could be a, just a point source object, you know, or if you want to have, of course, you have multiple microphones, you just use a stereo object and you pan that into, you know, wherever you want it to be. And this could be, you know, multiple voices, multiple microphones of course you're not going to have a spatialization for each individual voice then but maybe that's not what you need at that point especially if it's a choir maybe it's even quite good if it's not you cannot pinpoint you know where that voice is coming from it's more kind of this cloud of tenors and then you have a cloud of you know sopranos and things like that you know? So there are still useful ways for, for buses. Um, it's really, I think it's, um, the difference is that you kind of have to think ahead a little bit, you know, if I want this to be an individual object um, uh, or if I'm okay with that it's kind of a group of things, 